Panda. Parmi nous. All right, cool. Here's the game. Uh, it's called One Must Go. I'm going to give you two radio personalities. You must tell me which one must go. Are I'm not going to give reasons. No, you don't and have Just to because you're going, it could be because you're my favorite that you must go because you mustn't be part of this whole thing. No, if you're, if you're going, it means you're trash. All right, is it? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, Let's on. go. I mean, Where like, your station manager's hat? What if, what, if, what, what if you give me two people that are so good? Well, you got to choose one. One you must go. choose one. Here we go. Right, cool. Let's go. Uh, Dineo and Anele. So I'm saying the one who must go. Yeah. Okay. One must you go. You didn't say which Dineo, but Dineo must go. Dineo Rana. Ah, you didn't say which Dineo. <laughs> it's fine, let's go. You say, there are so many Dineos. I've already chosen. <laughs> you, say, oh, you got loopholes. You got loopholes, dog. Hey, you and your fucking radio you mind. loopholes. <laughs> All right, next one. Uh, ankle tap DJ Sabi. DJ Sabi. Must go. Hmm. Why? Ha, we said we're not going to give reasons. Ah, dog. but for the sake of the podcast. I actually think that um, Ankle Tap is a is a little bit more dynamic. A lot of people didn't even know he was white, uh, or he is white. Um, <laughs> he was white. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so I think he's got a little bit more dynamic, and I also think that perhaps the opportunity of being on breakfast sort of sets him a little bit apart from someone who's on drive. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Uh, I'm a big I'm a big fan of both of them. You know, I got him but the gig I, at Y. If I were to choose one, yeah? You know, I got him the gig at Y. Ankle tap. Yeah. yeah. I was driving to the East Rand uh, in the morning. Um, and then I turned on UJFM. Because I like to listen to like um, UJFM, mm. Vets, or whatever stations. Uh, apart from the commercial stations. Because, you know, commercial is very corporate. And I feel like when you listen to those stations, you get like people that are hungry and it's free and mm. whatever. So I'm listening to this guy. I'm like, fuck, this guy is good. Mm. And I called Dumelo. I'm like, yo, Dumelo. Uh, please listen to UJFM. There's a guy called Ankle Tap. Mm. Check him out. Did you know he was white? No, I didn't know he was white. Mm. And then they hired him and he took my show. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he must stay. <laughs> <laughs> Did the world some justice here? <laughs> All right, cool. Next one. Uh, Gareth Cliff, Roger Good. Oh, Gareth Cliff. Must go. Mm. Gareth. Mm. Why? I just love Roger Grid is also very close to Ankle Tap in a in a way. They've got this Both energy. <laughs> they've got this energy that's going on. Mm. I just love and you know what the thing is, like this that's why this is so tough. But also I like people who do the kind of radio that I sort of can't do as well. Like <laughs> I'm so drawn to that, right? So that maybe that's why even with Sebi, I was like, okay, this I can do. You mm. know, I want something else that I can't do. Fuck yeah? How good is Roger? So Roger Good, he just does these crazy Ooh. things where you sit and you're like, what just happened there? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not like a normal thing that would just happen any other day, right? You know what Roger's and, like? And, yeah? yeah, continue, continue. And also like to think that he's, he's just also, okay, by virtue of the fact that he does the things he does, you know that he spends so much time preparing and making the thing, because he makes radio and there's things that, he was, was pre-recorded and then he edits, he edits them right there and then and he does this and he does different voices and all these stuff and whatever the case is. So I actually just like that about him and, and that is different, Ooh. you know. It's like if you were to ask me about anyone who does the kind of radio that I do and you, I'd go with you because you yeah. are different. You do other things that I can't do, you know. Yeah. Dude, the thing is, what I wanted to say about Roger Good is like, you know, with DJing, mm. there's uh, DJs, there's a DJ's DJ. But the public don't get it. Don't get it, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So like, for example, DJ China, Claude, mm, Christos, mm, mm, like mm, on the mm, decks, mm, fire. Mm, mm. But the, the public will go for uh, Maporisa mm, or whatever because mm. he's the one who's popping. Mm. But all the DJs will be like, that's the guy. Mm. And I feel like that with, with Roger Good. If you're a radio head, oh. you listen to that and you're like, and you, and you what think the yourself, fuck is he doing? How the fuck did he do that? But you if you're know? listening, you're like, hey, this is noise. What's, mm. what's going mm. on here? Mm. You know what I mean? No, 100%. It's exactly that. Yeah. You know? It's he's exactly fucking that. crazy, yeah. dude. Yeah. No, he's crazy with it. Mm. All right. Next one. Bad Boy 2, Root Boy Paul. Root Boy Paul. Must go. I'm a big Bad, bad Boy T fan. Yeah. Yeah. When I, when I was... um. When I was growing up, he actually was my favorite YFM DJ. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Bad Boy T. Lee and, and Sanza. Sanza Harambe. Yeah, man. <laughs> so Bad Boy was my, and I've told him this, you mm-hmm. know, you know, when I was when I was growing up, because those guys were there since the '97, whatever the case, '98 or whatever, you know. But then they got, you know, they 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 got more established, obviously, over the years and stuff. And I've told him this, like, he's he's of of that generation. YFM DJs is. Always been he sort had of my swag, favorite. bro. Ne? He had swag. Smooth, he just ain't wanted he? to be like him. Ne? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like Thomas so much. I like Bad Boy T. Yeah. Thomas, no, no. you can check. He's just getting the check. He's paying bills. <laughs> <laughs> These kids gotta eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the kid ain't bad no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, man. All right, cool. Last one. Tanda Tabudi versus Pearl Mudiadi. Pearl. Let's go. Tando is a serious broadcaster, bro. Mm. Um, and Tando is like, um, for me, it's also because maybe I haven't had Pearl by herself, you know? Um, she's, she's, a, she's a great co-host, uh, I must admit, but Tando is like a holy sunny on steroids. So she's also another, I got a great following on social media. I am, mm. you know what I mean? Absolutely amazing. But I can back it up. But... I'm a freaking awesome yeah. broadcaster. You know what I'm trying to say? So yeah. she has that. I mean, even even, even a, a drive time show on Why, the Tabuti. <sighs> she did drive it away. T- uh, sorry, man. On, on, on five. five. On yeah, five, yeah, yeah. sorry. Um, th- technically, and I don't know if she was running the desk herself or she couldn't have been or whatever the case is. Crisp. And these are the small things that, that we pick up on, right? Mm. Technically, it was hey. just so crazy. You know, like when soccer hey. people talk about, ah, technically, <laughs> you know, Rulani Mukwena is better than Manoba. You know? <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. It's these things that you hear and you're like, shucks, this girl, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, how is she even doing all of this? Mm. You know, I've been on radio and I can't do this, yeah. you know? Mm. So it's that. So um, I think she does sort of edges. I heard you smashed there. Did you smash there? Smash as in like, oh, she's still alive. I mean, if I smashed her, she's <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> sip, sip. <laughs> I heard you were in that booty. <laughs> no, no, no. I also heard that rumor. <laughs> it was in the newspapers as well. Was at it? At some point, yeah, Did man. Did it the newspaper? I, I, I asked her I, when I interviewed her. She brushed it aside. Is it? Mm. She, yeah, no, no. We, we brushed it. Um, <laughs> we brushed it. <laughs> no, no. I'm, also, I'm, I'm saying I'm also brushing it aside. <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm also brushing it aside. Yeah. yeah. So we both brushed it. <laughs> No, no, no. I also heard that rumor. That was actually on the newspapers at some point. And like, that was like the first time I was in the newspaper. Because I mean, come on. Yeah, totally yeah. I never do anything wrong, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I remember uh, that story of being in the newspapers and stuff. I remember uh, people calling me and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, I mean, come on, guys. I mean, we were at a... It was... I forgot what the, the, the event was called. The YFM event. Where Post was, parade. Where was the king that day and whatever the case oh, is. Yeah. And... It was at um, at Park Station. It was a massive event, and then that weekend, I got um, people from the newspapers saying that you were seen living with Tando Tabete. And I'm like, well, which one is Tando? I guess. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, no, 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 we did, we didn't. But if you did, would you guys say it though? Um, I wonder. What because do you think? My thing is, I don't know why you. Everybody knows you guys did it. I don't know why you did. Everybody come knows up. what. But you guys did it. It was like everybody knows. Who's everybody that knows that we did it? I know. <laughs> How do you know? Tell us more. I was there. <laughs> I mean, Hold on, where were we? Where did we do it? I don't know, Chief. <laughs> but I'm saying... Hey, man, you like, know what it is? There's been so many. I mean, I can't... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> 